Hi, my name is Doris Speetalk, and I know that I haven't been keeping up uh, with those weekly updates as I promised. Uh, I probably missed more than I really want to count, but I do have some exciting news. Not only is TEDx Redmond over and we've got some great reaction from the event, check out the TEDx Tumblr blog at tedx.tumblr.com if you're interested in seeing a post I wrote about it. We finished TEDx Redmond and now we're on to um, an even bigger project, namely one of which was fall cleaning. Okay, yeah, I sort of am joking about that being bigger than TEDx, but um, this was the uh, result of it. As you can see, I'm in a newer studio. Well, okay, maybe not new. It's the same old basement, same old house. But after a thorough round of mopping and scrubbing and dusting and vacuuming every cobweb in every corner of every ceiling area, we have finally restored it to some amount of shine and gleam. Now, if you're wondering, this is not an area that we miss. This is just either my shadow or my bad lighting because yes, the lights that you don't see in this field of view are ones that I dragged around very amateurishly. So if you know of any good tech support or lighting assistance in the Seattle area, um, be willing to donate their services for free, then give us a call. Okay, yeah, that was half a joke. But still, you can tell we need help with the lighting situation. Now, I am planning on continuing uh, my weekly updates and possibly even developing some sort of show around my teaching uh, that I do very frequently by video conferencing using this board behind me. And as you can tell from the books, uh, education is very much a big part of what I do. And then over here, a little further, I'll probably be having a nice table and some chairs where I might interview people. So probably a show aimed at uh, middle and high school age students and um, discussing issues which are important to teenagers, which are interesting to teenagers, and hopefully uh, there will be both. So if you're wondering, um, you know, how did she stack up all those books? Well, I'll let you in on a secret. It was not easy. You know, they, when you look at a show, you might take its background for granted, but through the amount of cleaning and hard work that it took to stack up these books, I realized that, no, you never want to take a show's decor for granted. Um, I dragged each and every one of these books, stacked them in such a way that hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers, they won't fall on me during the great big earthquake, which is supposed to hit the Seattle area, and um, they'll just stay there. Now, I will let you in on a secret. If you notice that it's so nice that I have a copy of this book, The Middle East, and a copy of The Middle East on either side, that is the book, the legitimate book, and that is the cardboard cover thing that came inside from Costco. So, tools of the trade, but all the other books are legitimate books. Now, um, decorating a studio definitely has its um, hard work element, obviously stacking the books and hanging the globes. So, yeah, next time you watch a show, I challenge you to think, hmm, I wonder what went on behind the scenes. And if you're wondering about what else is in the neck of the woods, my birthday is coming up on October 15th. I'm super excited because I'm enrolled in so many loyalty programs that send me so much junk mail, but it is all worth it. All those other 364 days of the year that I get junk mail in my inbox because on one day of the year, or actually one day, two weeks before my actual birthday, I will get a flood of emails saying, you've received a free burger at Red Robin and the mail from Starbucks with my free drink coupon and the free burrito at Qdoba and you know the list goes on and on so if you're going to enroll in loyalty programs make sure one that you have a junk mail address that you just give out to these loyalty programs and two that you make the most of your special day because I'm planning on not spending a dime well that's not entirely true that makes me sound like a miser so yep there's my rambling weekly update and uh, update of things to come. What's going on in your neck of the woods? Leave a comment and let me know. And thanks for watching.